Yo guys, what's up? I'm playing Cosmo Crater again. I feel like I played this guy before, and he played some center game in the Roy Lopez, which I have now studied. So, if he plays that again, I'll be ready. Oh, he didn't. Um, he didn't play it. So we just have a normal Roy Lopez here. Ah, I'm confused for some reason. Queen C7. Bishop D7. Wait a second. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, man. Remember to move fast. I haven't played in a few days, so I need to remember. Speed is the key. Speed. What? Uh, is that the normal thing? I feel like it's not. I usually don't do this. Alright, I'm going to go A5. Um, start with this move. I'm gonna have to move my rook on f8 somewhere. Here? Okay. And I'm gonna go bishop f8 and g6. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Oh, he stopped g6. What a jerk. Let's double in the a file. I should have went there when I had the chance, but I didn't. I just want to go g6, man. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> just let me do it. Leave me alone. Alright. Is he going to sack if I, if I do? Hold on. If I take and go g6, he moves his knight to d4 then. If g6, pawn takes e5, pawn takes e5 is playable, right? I'm just going to do it. Whatever, man. I assume I couldn't take his knight. Like, again, I, like I talked about, we got to move fast. No time to dilly-dally and, and speed chess, man. All right, now, what if I go rook a8? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, if rook f1, bishop e8. Super defense. Ultimate defense. <laughs> um, I, I just want to defend everything. I, I mean, I understand my f8 knight could be in trouble someday. That's one thing I like about the Ray Lopez. You just set up this barrier and just sit there and let all his pieces come at you. And, and for some reason, it's relatively solid. And I've been doing good in this game. I've been moving quickly, even though my moves are not like super obvious. I've just been making them quickly and confidently. And even though he's been moving super fast too... He doesn't have some monstrous time advantage, which often happens when you're when you're a little bit um slow sometimes, like I am. Or like I I mean I'm pretty good with the clock, but sometimes I forget. Another idea, knight c8 to d6. I like knight c8 next. I'm also threatening to take on b b4. So he's got he's got trouble figuring out what the hell to do here. Alright, knight c8 looks pretty logical. He might be able no, he can't take on g6 anymore because I can take with the rook. So it's not even an option. Alright. But well, that's a good move probably. He's threatening to take my my bishop. Can I do this though? Like what's the big deal really? I guess the point is now when I take on b4 you can take with the bishop. But I'll sack the exchange somewhere if I have to. Like, if he goes rook a to b1, I'll take on b4. Maybe go rook takes a3. Somehow I feel comfortable there. I don't have to do it, but I might. That's all I'm saying. Look how solid my position is. What is he going to do to me? Uh, his knight on h4 also. He's, he's got to be careful not to get it trapped someday. And look, I have a nice time advantage. So... Yeah, I'm not like crushing him in any way on the queen side because he can always take with the bishop on b4 now. But I have a minute on the clock and his plans are hard to come by. So I just want to keep the position sort of the way it is. I want to keep the tension, keep him thinking so he doesn't quite know what to do, and then just utilize my big time advantage. Uh, in a ch you know, at some point, if he'll be so low on time, he'll blunder. It's basically my idea. He just doesn't know what to do. He has no idea, it looks like. Maybe he's thinking about knight f5 or some... It never works. My rook on a6 is a good defender in, in this position. 
He could take on a5. Maybe he's just lagging. This seems like a long time to be thinking. No, he's just he's just thinking. Just doesn't have any freaking clue what to do. What about like knight f3? Just move somewhere. I don't have a threat. Just gonna make a move. Reroute your pieces. King h2. No, king h1, king h2. Alright, um. Do I have to worry about. If rook takes, I'm a little worried about some kind of tricks with knight g6, so. I don't know why. I've, no, or knight f5, sorry. I want to have my rook defending. I feel like it's more important than my queen's defense here. I'm attacking c3, which he doesn't care about for some reason. Uh, rook a3 is a trap, my queen? I don't think so. Queen b2, rook b1, maybe it does. I guess I'll just go here. I don't even understand this move at all. Uh, I'm just gonna go, go like this. Because this pawn's pinned, so... So whatever, man! And I got like a huge edge in the clock. God, it's something about when when I get really low pos positions like this, I really enjoy it because he tried to attack. All his pieces are on the king side, and it's just like you don't know what to do if you can't checkmate me. It's like all of a sudden, where is your play? Whereas I'm kind of pushing on the queen side, and it's just like I didn't even do anything. I'm just kind of like, sh you know, I just have my pieces in a nice position, and I barely have to think. It feels like. Alright, I mean, knight f5, can't be so scared of it. Um, take the rook. He does, he does the rook knight a5 thing. Uh, you know, the, another, the thing is, I can probably just go rook a2. So I'm threatening rook c2. And, I mean, this is pretty crushing. Oh, I didn't see that, so maybe it's not. Am um, I down a piece? I guess so. All right, well, <laughs> that was very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Attack the bishop, attack the other thing. Um... Alright, he's gonna go. Oh, he didn't. He didn't defend his deep pawn. I mean, he's still low on time that I might be able to trick this guy. Hmm. <sighs> Crap. Alright. I don't think he's gonna beat me, at least. Because I'm just gonna take this man, whatever. Good luck checkmating me here, homie. Shame though, you know, to, to lose this position instead of. I mean, to draw instead of winning. I feel like. There's no way he's gonna checkmate me, obviously. Oh man. It's just a shame, though. I mean, I had such a great position. There we go. Game's over. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, I was doing so well. Fortunately, even when I blundered, he was so low on time that, you know, I was able to not lose the game. But it was a real shame because, you know... Obviously, I'm winning. I mean, I, I can probably just take the take the knight off. I'm going to turn on Houdini. Yeah, I mean, but even if I don't, like, if I just do this, you know, maybe he has some small advantage. It's, Houdini thinks it's even. 
And he has no time left. But this was just a blunder. Horrible, horrible blunder. Uh, I just missed 98 completely. Even this is very annoying for him. Such a shame. Because, I, you know, I didn't lose that position. So, obviously, I wouldn't have lost if I just didn't blunder 98. It was a sad thing. But that's what happens when you move quick. Even when you blunder like that, you still have a, a chance to, to win the game. So, I'm, I'm happy with how I played. Just unfortunate I missed 98. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.